Hello. Here at the University of Chester's Business School, we run the Masters in Business Administration as part and full-time courses. The course is supplemented by visitors from senior business leaders from around the UK. They come in to discuss their issues from a very senior perspective with the MBA students and pose challenges for them as part of their course. Here you will see Mr Chris Ward, the Managing Director of Tufnell's Parcels Express and Executive Director of the Connex Group PLC. Here to say, to share with you uh, my experiences over the last year, uh, and I'll be particularly focusing on mergers and acquisitions and the first year of life after a major acquisition. I've been in retail and consumer for 22 years. I've been working for some big household brands like Marks & Spencer, B&Q, Boots and Accenture. And I've been with Tufnels a year to the day. And I'm gonna be taking you through um, some concepts I hope you find useful and we'll have the opportunity at the end to do some Q&A as well. Um, the customer experience is good in the B2B market. Um, it's not good overall. Uh, the great thing about B2C is if you order, a, if you make an order with John Lewis, so last night I bought a friend one of these, has anyone got one of these Fitbit? So it was good. So this is like a Fitbit HR. Uh, I saw a friend the other day, they were going about how fantastic it is, and I bought them one on John Lewis last night. It arrived uh, 10 o'clock this morning for free. Um, now, because that's our buying process now so often, there's an expectation that says, yeah, it's free, it's next day, it's no hassle. Now, B2B's not there yet, but customers don't understand that. Well, they don't care about B2B. They don't differentiate between parcel and IDW. They don't give anything about whether it's 25K or 200K. That's what I get with John Lewis. Why can't I have it with Tufnels? And even though my team moan nonstop about that not, not being fair, fair or not fair actually isn't a dualism that's helpful. The reality is the tide is rising on expectation driven by B2C and we have to match it in B2B because if we don't, someone else is going to, so why wouldn't we be first? So we are. Uh, Revenue quality is a very important thing for us. So uh, let's go back to this very ego-driven private business where we would flatter ourselves by saying um, the lead indicator of why this business is doing well is because we're handling more consignments. We thought that consignment growth was a proxy for improving health of the business. And whilst to some degree that's true, it isn't necessarily about growing consignment, because every time you collect a consignment, you, you make revenue. That's how the model works. But the reality is, you know, we're, we're a network that's quite close to capacity. We're at 94% capacity. We haven't got a whole load of capacity within our depots. So yes, we are going to be building some more depots, but that's expensive and operationally it's tricky. What we're about is driving the revenue for every consignment that we handle. So for every uh, consignment, we get about 14 pounds. Last year, it was about 13 pounds 50. So our driving strategy around uh, the proposition is how can we get higher returns without handling significantly higher levels of consignments? So the next time you, know, you see um, a set of results that comes out from a parcel carrier that says, ha ha, we've had a great year, we've done 9% extra consignments. I would then look at the next level of detail that says, well, but what was your return for those incremental consignments? Because when you're, you're as close to capacity as we are, it's about the return, not the volume. <laughs>